Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Good morning for Vlogmas Day, I want to say 20, it's Sunday the 20th. Definitely need to start with a Disney mug this morning for some nice coffee, um, given lack of sleep. So I'm going to go for my favourite small Mickey mug, which is perfect for the Dolce Gusto coffee. And I'm going to have a toffee nut. So if we mentioned, but Richard's gingerbread house made the travel bag. <laughs> we wrapped it up in the car and also popped it with some pillows around it and it made it, so we're really chuffed. We haven't found somewhere for it yet, but obviously just so happy it made it. And today I'm definitely having a toffee nut latte um, to start the day, which I cannot wait for. So I've just been cleaning this morning. I've now just ended up with what I do is fill the kitchen sink and put a couple of capfuls of this the flora in and it just makes the house smell so nice and obviously disinfects at the same time. We're using winter morning this morning, which is a limited edition one which we got direct on the flora's website. You asked about the Prinsetta plant and obviously the cats, I know it's poisonous to cats, so we, we store it on the kitchen windowsill which they have zero access to, so it's nice and away from them. But obviously if you do have a cat, don't let them near. Um, it's looking a bit worse for wear, maybe from travelling, but um, I've just watered it again, hopefully it'll come back. Time to light the candle, just to make it smell all nice and cosy in here. Um, I love doing this, it's so nice and homely. Uh, especially after you've cleaned, like it just sm makes the house smell so nice. There Lunch we go. Time. So Rich is really not feeling too good, obviously from the medication, feeling quite sick. So I'm going to do him a nice, just plain toasted bagel with a little bit of butter. Um, these bagels from Aldi are amazing. They are so like soft and chewy and just taste epic. So highly recommend the bagels from and I'm gonna go for some Leerdammer cheese today because I love it, um, really nice. And also some pickled onions with my um, bagel. So I love pickled onions all year round. Um, and obviously the cheese as well. Oh, look how good they look. Nicely toasted and just gonna put some Norpak, which is like Lurpak, but it's Aldi's own brand. Um, nice bucket. Hello everyone. So had a nice shower, rested up. Um, we got Rich up, showered, got him downstairs. So now he wants to have a quick update and say hello. So we'll just pass him over. Hello. hello. Here he is. <laughs> a bit of drama last night. So I think Luke filled you in that I had a little mishap. Um, literally just putting a blanket on the sofa. And I'm just going to help Luke with the camera. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have dislocated, or did dislocate my patella once again for the second time in three months. Oh no. Um, yeah, deja vu. Couldn't, couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was literally, I was just literally putting a blanket on the sofa ready to do the advent calendar and it just went. <laughs> you do that every night, which is the funny thing, like you do the same yeah. thing every night. It's just... You just called out. I was like, oh no. It was so painful. I actually managed to force it back in. Anyway, I, I'll, be, I'll spare the details, but yeah, I dislocated my patella again. Um, yeah, so you were literally st stood up, but I had to just hold you. I yeah. managed to run upstairs and get your, when Rich was um, discharged last time, he got like a strap on his knee. So I was like, let's just strap your knee up quickly, just in case, you know, to support it. And get a crutch, got his crutch, which you obviously got there, um, yeah. which happened from before. And then um, we're like, called one one we couldn't we tried to sit you down couldn't we you couldn't sit down i couldn't sit down um and i i thought let's just try one 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 which is like the non-emergency number so not 999 uh, and see how we get on with that um but the lady that was on the phone to luke insisted an ambulance was needed so well, you weren't only passing out in pain i know but i was like oh is it an ambulance and it was definitely an ambulance, it was definitely an ambulance so um yeah, yeah. we I, did have to wait for nearly two hours which is just obviously at the minute it just shows how strained and i had a, i actually had a really long chat with the ambulance crew because the paramedics because um they did they weren't able to administer morphine they weren't registered paramedics so they had to wait for another car to come from half an hour away. So they got Rich um, on the stretcher with gas and air and then got him in 
in the back of the ambulance, but then they had to wait half an hour for this other car to come to bring the morphine because you needed the morphine. The gas in there, <laughs> the, the gas in there knocked me out again. Didn't oh. it? <laughs> when they were when they were taking Rich out to the car, uh, out to the ambulance, you just passed out again, and they were going yeah. Rich, and I was like Rich, <laughs> like it's quite scary. Um, um, yeah, and then obviously they were fantastic. Yeah, got you in, had an X-ray. Yeah. Um, and now he's got a rest. I've got quite a bit of swelling again. It's just a shame. I feel like it's a big setback because of the last three months I've been so good with physio and just being super careful. Obviously, we've just been away and did a bit of walking, but here we are. Yeah, yeah. we've done everything that the physio said, so it's just a shame. But we'll find out what's next. Yeah. We've, um, we're working the next three days, so we've ordered Rich from Amazon. I went straight on and ordered like a desk bed. A so bed good. desk. It's like a, a desk that you can put on your bed so he can sit in bed mm. and just have this over the top of him. Um, so that'll be really good when that comes tomorrow. But equally important is to look after you as well. Because I'm fine. <laughs> it, it's very difficult for me, obviously, but for you looking after me, that is Rich, a strain. Rich so. keeps worrying about it. I've been like, <laughs> fine. I've been like Mary Poppins today. Like, think of Amy Adams in Enchanted. I was cleaning the house. I was with the cats. We, we were look all after good. you as well, we though. We were all good. <laughs> so yeah, we got you downstairs. Mm -hmm. Nice and comfortable. We're gonna watch With the family. Gonna watch some Christmas movies. I'm gonna sit on the floor and wrap presents. And then we've got the call with the family at five for FaceTime. Lots the, of things to smile about. <laughs> yeah. And the advent will be up later as well. So mm -hmm. we just wanted to fill you guys in and um and thank you for oh, there's some, been some messages coming through as well. So thank you so much for um the get well get well soon messages and yeah, all the love. Yeah. So we'll see you guys in a bit. So I am currently sitting in the living room, just about to wrap the Christmas presents. They're all piled up in here. Socks are going on a I've bit got an bag. assistant here oh, who's <laughs> joining the <laughs> You're going in the bag socks. Oh look at There we go. Helping me out <laughs> with the new uh, uh wrapping bag. And a few of you guys have mentioned that you got one of these from Amazon as well, which is so cool. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to sit, nice Christmas film, wrap all the presents, which I love doing. I'm going to go under the tree. Hello, are you helping? <laughs> <laughs> Even though um, we're probably not going to be able to give these presents out for some time. So it's just nice to have them wrapped under the tree though, ready. I mentioned on a previous vlog that Rich and I don't really do Christmas presents. We tend to do... Um, a little stocking for each other. So I'm just, I'm organizing the stockings this year. We have a little stocking each with a few little bits in so there. We just had a package delivered on a Sunday um, from our friend Dawn, who sent us a lovely Christmas presents. Eleanor candles. Eleanor, even the end in the middle. I love it. What scent are they? I think it's like it's something in vanilla, strawberry. Um, wild raspberry and vanilla. Raspberry and vanilla. These bath fizzers. <laughs> We've got socks here as well, he's having to have a look. <laughs> uh, an alien bath fizzer and a woody one. These are from Superdrug. Face masks. So Rich is totally going to have a face mask. Yes. We've got these cool Disney Primark bits, which are so nice for Christmas Day. Some cut. Hello, socks. <laughs> some pumpkin spice coffee and some cinder toffee coffee. Cinder toffee. Some iced tea. Love these iced teas. And this set of coasters and placemats for Christmas, which is perfect for Christmas Day. So thank you so much to our friend Dawn. Thanks. So Dawn. as we enter the final few days before Christmas, it is time to crack out the Christmas movies. Now, a lot of these are now on like Netflix and Disney Plus and stuff, but some of the classics aren't. So our favourites, Miracle on 34th Street. Gotta be. Got it on Blu-ray. <laughs> A-lister. We love Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah, yeah. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's very festive. So we've done Home Alones, Deck the Halls. We kind of watched a bit of it. Yeah, a little bit of it. But I feel like we should do it all the way through. Jingle all the way. Turbo Man. <laughs> Turbo Man. <laughs> we watched this the other day. Four Christmases with Reese with a Spoon. I think our favourite Christmas film is probably Christmas with the Cranks. Yeah. Um, Vicar of Dibley. Vicar of Dibley, yes. The Dibley Christmas. If you haven't seen this episode, it is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got some of the Disney ones, but they'll all be on Disney Plus now, which is really good. National, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yay. Christmas Vacation. And then The Grinch. Yes. So this is the ones we've kind of bought, but obviously we have a lot of them on um, Netflix or Amazon Prime or yeah. Disney Plus. And with them being DVDs, they're quite old. <laughs> so which one tonight? I'm feeling maybe The Last Holiday or Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, we need a real festive classic tonight. Yeah. Hello everyone. Hello. So we're just about to go live with the family on our weekly FaceTime and we're doing the Christmas edition. <laughs> so we're gonna try and screen record and insert some footage to 
from the family saying Merry Christmas and everything. So yeah. fingers crossed it works. If not, obviously we will try and film a bit from here as well. But I'm really excited to, to see Hello. everyone. Hello, we're just on the vlog. Hi, Hi everyone. Yes, actually. Yeah. Uh, I just want to wish everybody in the family and friends all around and all over the world actually a happy Christmas and a, a, a good, happy new and healthy new year. And stay safe, that's all. Yeah, thank you. What else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I want to wish everybody, family, friends, and everybody that's a, a happy Christmas and a healthy new year. Oh. And let's hope next year, 2021, uh, uh, we'll see a difference in all the world and we all get back to normal. Yeah. But enjoy the Christmas as much as you can. Bye bye for now. And what have you got on the table, Nan? Well, what I've got on the table is get your glasses ready. Because <laughs> I've got the pacetto ready. For a <laughs> <second>. <laughs> Are you going to drink it out of the, out of the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's uh, good. What about you, Mum? We miss you all. We miss you all. We oh. miss you all. one day again soon. Yeah, so I just want to say a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year to all my family, friends everybody that watches the vlogs um, and we really hope that next year that we'll be able to come back to Florida and give you some wonderful magical times again watching us uh, with Luke and Rich on LNR Dreaming. So uh, here's to everybody. Stay safe. Oh, Cheers. Thank oh, you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Today's advent calendar. Here we go. It is Ginger. Before we start, we just wanted to say something, before we just do a quick update, we wanted to start, you know, sort of say about everything that's going on with Christmas and we hope that you are all okay. I think a lot of areas like us have moved to tier four, but obviously nationally they've also restricted in a lot of areas in, in Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland and, and even in the UK as a whole, you know, it's one day now. We understand the reasons why. We are understanding and it's difficult and 2020 has been an incredibly difficult year for everyone. I think it's frustrating that we've probably got our hopes up a little bit, but you know, we've got to stand by the right thing. But we just really wanted to put it out there and say, hope you're okay. Um, do reach out to us on email if you are struggling. Um, we're no experts, but there are a lot of expert charities that you can reach out to who can provide support and guidance, but we're getting there guys. The vaccines are rolling out. Okay, it's, it's happening. Um, my grandparents have got theirs on Wednesday. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's just important with the new tiers uh, coming in tier four, but in particular, that um, it can be a lonely time of year for a lot of people in general, but with the tiering coming in as well, it's just important to know that you're, you should never feel alone and there's always somebody to talk to. Yeah, so we just wanted to say that and just say, look, I hope you do, everyone does manage to do something festive, whether that's on a Zoom call. You know, Disney Plus does group watching now. So, you know, group up with friends, watch Disney movies together on WhatsApp or have FaceTime call up at the same time. Yeah. There's fun things you can do where you can feel virtually, you can still feel together, even if not physically together. Yeah. Um, stay safe, stay healthy and yeah. See you guys soon. Good evening. Good evening. So I'm just sitting in a bit of an awkward position because I'm on a chair and Rich is on the sofa comfortable. I'm hugging the sofa tonight. <laughs> so I'm like, look massive compared to little Rich. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously we've got a couple of days of Advent to catch up on. What we'll do is we'll give the results from day 18. I think so, yeah. Which was the... Cinderella question. It was, yeah. And then we'll do one for the 20th. So we will miss a day but we can make up for it next year. Mm -hmm. So what was the question? So the question was, what year was the original Cinderella release? The original. And the answer was 1950. 1950. Yeah, so we've got a few comments to read out. So we have uh, Freddy C93X. Uh, the original Cinderella was released in 1950. Happy Saturday, guys. I love the light up pitch you got from the garden center. Oh yeah. So nice. One of my favorite Christmas movies, Home Alone 2 really wants to go to New York for Christmas with Rosie. Can't believe it's only five days till Christmas Eve from today. The Velvetizer is amazing. It is amazing. 
uh, and Stephanie E. Good morning from the States. Happy Saturday. I have never seen a hovercraft other than in the movies. Ah. Very James Bond. I didn't think of that. Uh, your quesadillas looked delish. Cinderella was released in 1950. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. So nice. So, And then obviously we're going to move on to today's new question, which yes. is for day 20. I can't believe it's the 20th. I know, it's so great. I know we say this every time, but it's going so fast. We're so close now. So we've got um, day 20, and the new question is... How many sisters does Ariel have? Ariel the Little Mermaid. Ariel the Little Mermaid, yeah. Yeah. And bonus point if you can guess the names as well. Okay, comment below everyone, <laughs> comment, comment below. below. <laughs> and thanks again for everyone getting involved. It's so fun reading all your answers. We've had some fantastic emails through as well. I've loved read we've loved reading them, haven't we? Yeah, so nice. We had one from Claire and Duncan and they had a L and R kind of day and I love this email. So they, they live in the New Forest and inspired us to take a local trip to Corfe, Swanage and Sandbanks. Beautiful. After a morning Starbucks as well. <laughs> um, so just literally spot on, uh, yeah. amazing day out. So it looks like you had some amazing weather as well. Yeah, it looks yeah. fantastic. So thanks so much for emailing us about that. Um, Georgina as well, we had a lovely email from Georgina, Daniel, Bruno Dog and Jazzy Dog. Um, just a really nice message, so nice. Um, thank you so much for your lovely message you sent us. Um, also, Izzy sent us a lovely, cute picture of her two little cute kitties. <laughs> Honestly, so cute. <laughs> uh, our two cats, brother and sister, Sydney and Willow. Uh, oh, who, Willow. Who love seeing socks and Willow, so. Because uh, our, our two are brother and sister, aren't they? They yeah. are, they don't look anything like it. No. But they are. Um, and then the last one is from Paige, and she sent a lovely um, email as well, um, uh, with a lovely baby gift, which was really nice. So thank you so much. Yeah. I also really enjoyed, obviously I was in A&E last night, so it was really nice to sit and read some through the messages as well, so it's really nice. Yeah, thank you. kept you busy, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the tea calendar. So you've got two days of tea. Two days, and I have in advance found the windows. <laughs> <laughs> very efficient. Uh, so day 19 was gin and tonic flavour green tea. That sounds interesting. Can I give it a smell? Oh, that smells nice. It does. I'm it not a huge nice. gin and tonic fan, but actually the smell doesn't remind me so much of the drink. It might be nice to like boil it and yeah. then cool it down with and with ice it and ice it. That could be like an nice iced tea. That yeah. might be nice. Uh, and day 20 is Darjeeling Ftugfop. It's that Ftugfop again. Which someone did look up for us. And I do apologise. I'm sorry, I can't remember what it stands for, but it <laughs> sounds delicious. Uh, I, I, I lost one of my teas. I don't know where it happened. Because they're all on, on the pack of calendar, they fall off. But the one for today was Three Chamomile, which is a soothing floral fusion of African, Egyptian and European chamomile. Sounds nice. Nice. Um, and then we've got the Genevieve Advent Calendar. So, day 19. I think this one needs to be for you, actually. Because okay. I have a suspicion. Is, no, it's not mittens, but just as soft. Okay. So let's see what that one is. We say we've had a lovely festive evening tonight. It's been so nice watching Christmas movies, doing the FaceTime with the family. It's been lovely. It's really nice, it? yeah. Are you feeling relaxed? I'm feeling relaxed. Thank you for giving me the sofa tonight. <laughs> I'm seeing what this is. Oh, it is a Bath and Body Works Merry Cookie Hand Cream. Yes, I had a suspicion. Which is shea butter. If you haven't tried the Bath and Body Works hand creams, obviously at the moment we're washing our hands more than ever. Uh, we're anti-backing. Um, honestly, I'm going to put a bit of this on now. Yeah. The. Oh wow, I can oh, smell it. Oh, it's just like a cookie. Do you want a bit? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, you yeah, have some as well. Bit as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Genevieve. Like. I wish we could smell the, the cookie smell across the camera. Yes. And it's got a really cute little festive fox on there holding a cookie. I'm not sure if that'll come out because the camera isn't great at focusing up front. If I move my head. No. It's not going to focus. But there is a little fox there with a the cookie. There we go. Cool. And then day 20, you're going to yeah. open day 20? Day 20. Are we back in focus? We're back in focus now. It's what probably, it doesn't like the lighting because it's got the... <laughs> Um, day 20, yep. a tiny bit of Disney Vintage. Ooh. Ooh. This could be anything. I don't think I'm going to be able to answer this one. <laughs> when we were chatting to Genevieve yesterday, she did say that the clues were, were a little bit hard. <laughs> but it's fun. We enjoyed trying it's to It's so much fun, yeah. So, what is it? So, this is from uh, the Vintage Postage Shop. And it is... I'm going to pass it to Luke. Do you want me to hold it for you? Yeah. 
And so Genevieve said, uh, handpicked for Luke and Rich. I found this cool shop on Etsy and thought it was a cute way of, to have a bit of Disney nostalgia. Um, so yeah, it's a... Um, it's a, like a Walt Disney, I don't know if it's going to come out, a Walt Disney postage stamp. United States postage stamp. I don't know how well that's going to come out. How cool is that? That is so cool. Six cents, United States. Oh, that's such a nice keepsake. So it looks like they're on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Um, so at Vintage Postage Shop. Yes. Oh, we've gone blurry. We're coming back, we're coming back, and we're back. So thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you so much, so lovely. Oh, um, it's such a cool gift. It's such a cool gift. We'll keep that nice and safe. Yes, yeah, very safe. So on that note, we just want to end up by just saying, obviously, a massive thank you to the NHS again. Um, we really, you were in and out of the hospital so quick yesterday mm -hmm. um, because I wasn't, because of COVID, I couldn't go, um, which is understandable, no problem with that. But you got seen really quickly and had the x ray, and I was like, no time at all. So quick. You obviously expect some weight, but last night was quite a quick experience, yeah. And they're obviously under such strain at the moment. I mean, I had a really long chat with the guys that were, were with you. I don't know yeah. if you will recall much of the conversation. I, was, I had some <laughs> medication, put it that way. But they are just under such pressure right now. So just thank you. If any, I know a few of the guys that watch us, you know, a few of our Disney friends are uh, in the NHS yeah. or key workers. So thank you so much for everything you do. I know we did pick the NHS charity this year as one of our charities, um, but obviously we're really grateful. And I said that to them last night. I oh yeah, you, really I, did, I did hear that. You're having quite a long conversation with them. We yeah. did. Then it started raining. <laughs> then it started raining. <laughs> and they got in and I couldn't get in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you. Obviously, um, we're going to keep it festive. It's going to be yes. adapted this week because of um, Rich um, being where he is. So no baking today. But I'm thinking, do you know what? How about I bake something? What? <laughs> with Rich, with Rich like pulling the strings. We can do a bit of a Pinocchio I situation. Ha I have faith in you. Let's do this. I have, baked, um, I have baked before, haven't I? I did a, a lemon drizzle cake once. And it was very nice. And yeah. I did another cake for your birthday. Mm -hmm. So you do bake, to be fair, but more often than not, it is me. So it'll make a nice change. So look forward to that coming up. Maybe Christmas Eve. If we can fit it in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we will. Yeah. But stay tuned for super festive run up to Christmas. Yeah. So see you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories.